Hi folks, how are you all doing today? Today we will be completing our music player app. Yes, are you all excited for this? I am pretty much excited for this, okay? So let's quickly see how to code it and how to make it functional, right? So we have to go to blocks first and whatever the songs you want to upload and whatever the images you want to upload, you have to upload them over here in the file section, okay? I have all the images and songs which I wanted to upload, so I have them. You can just click on choose a file here and then just choose how many ever files you want, those many files, okay? So again, now you have to be, um, you know, watchful or mindful, we can say, uh, because in Thunkable, there's a limited space, right? So beyond that, you can't really, you know, add any more files and use them, okay? So until and unless your Thunkable space is full, you can completely add so many things, okay? So yeah, uh, let's start quickly with the coding part, right? Now on coding, uh, first thing we have to do is, like we have some functionalities to do, right? And uh, we also want to show some image and the label. Then we have to set the sound and play the sound. So all those things we'll be seeing today, okay? So uh, to do this, first, what exactly we need? right so let's check that out first for playing the thing for stopping the thing for you know going to the previous song for going to the next song so let's see what all we need okay so yeah before starting off uh, i would just like to remind you all guys that uh, if you haven't been watching my series yet please do go back to my channel and uh, start with the playlist right any playlist you can start off with if you're starting off with a apple app playlist let's suppose you start with the first video right so start watching it from the first video so that you do not have any questions or uh, you know you do not have any doubts in the content right so if you're watching all of them it also feels like you're doing a course right so and you will be understanding multiple things okay in the levels right so we will be uh, having like from basic and then we are advancing it a little bit, advancing it a little bit like that, okay? So level by level, we'll be uh, doing the things and I've uploaded all my videos in such a way, right? Uh, so you do not need to worry uh, on what the content is and how is it going, etc., etc. okay? So yeah, now, yes, let's get back and let's start with the music player coding and let's complete this thing, right? First thing uh, to play the songs, I actually have three images and three songs uh, uploaded, okay? So let's just first create, go to variables and I'm just creating a counter variable, okay? Because this is just like the so song counter, okay? Now we can initialize this to zero for now. We'll later change the thing, okay? So now um, I also want to create a function for playing music because so I want to name my songs. Na naming means I want to give some value of the song. Okay. So like uh, zeroth song, first song, second song, likewise. Right. So whenever um, we are giving some number to your song, then you can actually go previous and go next easily. Okay, so go to the previous song and next song easily. For that reason, I created this counter. And for that reason, I want to just uh, create a function for it. Okay, so if you don't want to create a function, you have to repeatedly write the same code again and again whenever you want to play some music, right? So that's why I wrote, I don't want to, you know, write the same code again and again because we already know about the dry principle, don't repeat yourself, right? So don't repeat yourself while writing the code, right? So you have to stick to very, I mean, uh, we can say that the less the number of blocks are, the more your app is efficient, okay? That's how it is. So I'm just uh, creating a function called this play music, okay? Now we will be our play song, right? Now, within this uh, function block, what exactly we have to write and all, we'll check. We'll check it later. For now, let's consider that this block is done, right? And now, we already have four buttons and we have to make all those four buttons functional, right? Starting off with your play button first. So, we have a play button, okay? Just click on it. 
so when play button click right then what you have to do on the play button we have to call this play song right so let's go to functions you have play song block here just drag this whenever you create a new function right it automatically gives this call block also okay this is defining a function block and this is calling a function block so what it does when you are playing the song will be written inside this we'll do that in a little while now okay after play button we actually have a stop button also right to stop the music okay so what shall we do is let's click on stop button when stop button click so we can just click on sound component we have uh, some predefined methods also here right so i'm just taking this call sound once stop right so this is uh, this this just stops the song wherever you are it just stops the song that's it okay and then we have previous button right so let's just click on previous button and get that uh, when previous button click then we know what do we have to do we have to go to the previous song like i told you we'll be using this counter for giving the counter uh, count to your songs right so if the counter value is 0 that will be the first song counter value is 1 that will be the second song and so on like that okay so now what can be done is we can just um, go to variables now so if you want to go to the previous song we just have to decrease the or decrement the counter variable that will be enough right so I'm just taking this change block. Change block is used to decrement some variable. And I just will write minus one because I want to decrement it by one. So if it is having value two here. So if I write uh, minus one here, two minus one will become one, right? So if it is one, whatever is the counter value one song, that will be played. That means it is the previous song only, right? So that's how we are using this logic here, okay? after which we have to play sound right so that means we we can call play song block because we have to start playing the song right same way we can do this for uh, next button also okay that means when next button is clicked all right so let's go to variables we can use this change variable change app variable counter by one by one means it will increment the thing okay so and then we can go to functions and play song that's it right we are done with the play button stop button previous button and next button now now comes the very important part which is play song block right so in this play song uh, we just have to set the counter value and then we have to play the song and we have to set the image we have to set the label also okay we'll do that now so here our program has to take a decision upon something right so that's why we will be using decision decision statements like if conditional statements or if else conditional statements right because what it has to decide if the counter value is uh, zero or one or two based on that it will play the song okay that's what we have chosen as a logic right so that's why we're doing it something like this so this is not the only way but yeah this is one of the ways we can say okay so let's go to control and get this if else block you will be needing if else if because we have three conditions in total because i told you like i have three songs right so that means i'll be adding else if and else if so that i get all the three conditions here okay so now you'll have to just go to math to get uh, equality operator or you have logic yeah here okay so now uh, equal to operator to compare okay what we have to compare we have to compare app variable counter with value zero okay so app variable counter equal to zero so we'll check if app variable counter value is equal to zero or not if it is zero if it is true then we'll do whatever we have to do inside this right first thing we can set the label right so let's set the song title label so or 
where we can actually set song poster image first, right? Set song poster image picture to maybe unstoppable.jpg, okay? And then we can get song title. So set song title label to playing unstoppable. Playing unstoppable song. Okay. And then we also have to set the sound source, right? So set sound one's source to unstoppable.mp3. Okay. And then we can just go to sound one component to start playing the sound without this play function it will not play the sound okay it will not be able to play the sound basically right so we are setting the poster we are setting the title we are setting the sound source and we are calling play function this is how we can play a song right and we want to do something like this right so you can do it like this right same way you have to do it for other uh, songs also okay so let's quickly do that for the other songs also yeah, let's quickly continue and do it. So I'll just uh, duplicate this thing. You have the duplicate option like this. You can just drag it, place it over here. So if app variable counter equals to one, right? Again, we would just like to set the song poster image picture to. So let's set it to believer.jpg. Then now. Uh, so I'm just getting the song title label instead of unstoppable. We can play believer. Okay. And then we can set the sound source also. So set sound source to believer.mp3. We can call play sound. Cool. So this is for the first song, right? Now we also have to place for another song. So let's just get this attached it here. Don't forget to change the number to two. Okay. Then we can set the poster image. So the poster image would be Harry Harry dot JPG. And then So title would be Harry Potter theme. Okay. And then we have to set sound source. So let's set the sound source to Harry Potter dot MP3. And then we'll call play. So yeah. Now, this is not just enough, okay? Because, um, you know, we we have set the counter zero, counter one, counter two. What if the counter value goes to three, right? Oh my God, this is going to be a question. And it is like, it's very important for us to understand this thing here, okay? When counter value goes to three, there's no song to play and it stops there. And we don't want that to happen, correct? So that's why what exactly we'll be doing is we'll loop it, okay? So looping means here, so if you're setting the counter value back to zero after two, right? Then what happens? Again, it starts playing the first song, okay? So let's do something like that. Let's go to variables and get set app variable. Set app variable counter value back to zero. If at all, it is incremented, right? So let's suppose if the counter value is going to three, it will check that nothing is matching and it will do the else part. So we'll set the app counter app variable counter value to zero and we'll again call the same function so that it can execute itself again, right? So that's why I'm just doing play song. So actually this calling the function in itself is actually called as recursion, okay? We are just creating a recursive function here. So play song function is calling itself again, right? Whenever the counter value goes uh, above two, then it starts executing its by itself. Okay. 
so this is all this is all about our um, music player thing right so i hope this was uh, very simple and easy right let's just quickly live test this and check everything okay we have this now i'll just click on play button to start playing the song playing the song right so if you want to go to previous or next song you have to stop the song okay that's why i'm just clicking on stop button now you can go to next song it shows believer thing here and you also can see it starts playing the song right so you can stop it and then you can go to previous song if you want okay stop it then go to next song if you don't want this stop it then go to next song see this is how it is okay and uh, see that you're not getting confused if you're just messing up with this uh, next and previous buttons it will not work that properly as expected okay so that's why just stop the sound click on next click on previous it absolutely works okay so if i click on next it goes back to unstoppable because we have looped it right if the counter is going beyond two then it goes back to zero again and starts with the first song again okay so that's how it is and uh, this was all about our music player app if you have any questions you can definitely comment in the comment section below do let me know what are your thoughts of this right on this and also you can just uh, share your app links with me or share your app screenshots with me so that i can see how you guys have designed it right what all you have added in this uh, i definitely would love love to check them out check them all out okay so yeah this is going to be it for today i hope you enjoyed this session and thank you so much for watching this video please like comment share and subscribe to my channel folks have okay so this is all for today guys and i'll be meeting you all in the next session bye bye and have a great day all